Hello and welcome. Today we have the Red Arc Toe Pro Elite version 3. Um, I'm going to show you the box and the unboxing and just show you what's in it. It was a bit hard to see on the internet exactly what was in the product when we uh, went to buy it. Um, as always, hit the subscribe button and, our, and to follow us for more videos. So we'll start with the box. It's 170 mil wide by 125 uh, in it. Oh, and it also weighs uh, 200 grams and it comes with a two year warranty. So inside the box, it looks like it has the usual. It has the unit itself, a dial for the uh, mount to the in the car and another box here looks like we have oh yeah got the usual merchandise sticker with a uh, how to use instruction manual and in the box it has looks like two leads and some nuts for the installation of the controller uh, this would be the uh, power and this would be the lead the plugs from the base unit across to the head unit. This lead measures that. It's like one meter long, actually. Comes with a uh, battery plug, both ends. Just like that. The power lead itself, in case you're wondering if you're going to install it, it's like the actual uh, wiring here. The uh, like the black is actually positive, not negative. The uh, brake output is the blue wire. The input power is the black, as we said, and the ground is the white, and the red is the brake lights. There's a factory plug on it. What plugs? into the unit itself. It's blend and obviously this another plug on the side for the controller. The unit itself, very light. I said the whole box looked like it weighed 200 grams. So the actual unit itself is uh, 105 millimeters by looks like 85 mil. And uh oh geez. It's only 25 mil at best thick. So that's the controller, quite compact, got four mounting holes. You can buy a, a mounting bracket, a strip of metal off uh, Red Arc. We decided that um, we wouldn't need that because we're actually replacing one on an existing vehicle. The uh, dial goes into the dash and then the nut, or the controller looks like, goes over the top. Uh, you notice that this is backlit, or is the unit's backlit, so that's why it's clear. The numbers and the that itself is 20 mil, quite small, 20 mil. And the controller itself, the dial, is 40 mil by 15 mil. That's it, and it looks like this nut screws. A screw in and then that will go on the end that'll lock that nut and that will lock in and then it goes on top and that just here to the menu comes in it's like just english it tells you how to install it uh you can get other accessories you can get longer leads for it so you can uh, obviously increase the distance between the controller and the controller on the dash. Uh, we only got the factory one meter one uh, by the looks of it in the box. And we didn't get additional fuses for this, which you can get because we are actually replacing one into a uh, Nissan Patrol. It already has just an older model uh, brake controller. And uh, we just need to update it because of the, the new caravan that we're going to be towing. We are towing, and um, that's it. So, I hope you liked the video. I hope it sort of gave you a bit more information as to what's in the box. Uh, and yeah, as, as always, hit the subscribe button 
keep up to date with what we're doing and uh, yeah if you've got any ideas or comments or questions put them in the uh, description down below and uh, yeah we'll see if we can uh, answer them and uh, if you've got any ideas on what we should be looking at next please let us know till next time